This is Peenan, coming to you from Los Altos, California for the Kusamarium. There's a craze that's been spilling out of Dot Sama into the ether. It goes by many names, Doniverse, Samaverse, Moonsama, Exosama, Pansama. If you've not been caught up and you've missed our last episode five months ago, here's a quick catch up on all things Samaverse. Dani is the co-founder of a passionate, to put it lightly, NFT community known as Moonsama. This original NFT collection sold that just one mover one year ago. The floor is now 7,390 mover at the time of this writing. 624 mover when we last covered it. The energy in any Doniverse Telegram channel is reminiscent of crypto hype cycles that just never fades. Though the culture might disturb some, and there has been a fair share of drama, Samaverse has indeed been a black hole of public attention, sucking in entire ecosystems and spitting out games, exchanges, and soon to be metaverses. Recently revealed was that Moonsama's CTO and co-founder, Kilcor, is none other than Adam Nagy, head of blockchain for Energy Web for three years amidst other significant blockchain backgrounds. Here's a quick recap of what Samaverse is, though keep in mind that Donnie seems to always be one step ahead, and he has an understanding of tokenomic strategy and degen psychology that few others in Cryptoverse have, which means that everything is subject to rapid change. Now there's Moonsama, the OG collection on Moon River, with governance, rights, and lots and lots of perks. There were VIP tickets which were airdropped to Moonsama holders and communities that let you access Moonsama's Minecraft game called Carnage. This game let you mine resources, and Ganbu was something where the bulk of resources mined were given to Moonsama holders and game players. Resources won in Carnage led to crafting in-game items, and as NFTs, there was an open marketplace for farmed resources. If this is already overwhelming, just wait. Since Minecraft set out new policies against NFT integration, resource mining has basically ended, and Donnie's drive to deliver a multiverse without centralization has only grown. However, Carnage continues with mini games that still results in valuable prizes. The resources and crafted items can still be used in Pansama, which is a totally different game. This is one of the beauties of NFTs, the ability to use the same objects in many games. Pansama is a 5v5 strategic game on Telegram. There's a web browser game targeted. Pansama has fish with now a floor of 37 mover that passively generates poop, which was transported to Moonbeam at a rate of approximately 1A poop for 3,400 XC poop. This is available on the open Moonbeam Dex markets. So much poop flinging around. Seriously, shit flying everywhere. Then came Gromlins on Moonbeam, which were airdropped to Moonsama and Exosama presale holders that coincided with the launch of Rarsama, a new NFT marketplace on Moonbeam focused on one-of-one -one art pieces. Ironically, Gromlins are a generative art collection. The rumors abound about their future utility. Oh, and Kilt ID integration was in there somewhere. Back to poop. It's a governance token on Rarsama, plus future utility with an already pretty serious market cap of 27 million. I guess it's the de facto shitcoin. And most recently, Exosama launched on ETH, which is attached to another game called Battle for Nova. Exosama was just released on OpenSea, hitting 1,000 Ethereum volume at the time of writing and rank 13th in seven day volume. It is aiming to bring the ETH community onto composable NFTs on Moonbeam. One of the first equipables will be in partnership with Public Pressure. These pods will have an unreleased music airdrop to them from Artist First and Sony Music Masterworks. Side note, beware the huge number of scammers around Exosamas of late that came with the hype. And keep in mind that there's being scammed and also being a scammer's exit liquidity. I actually bought an Exosama off the secondary market from a legit verified market and someone has now reported it as stolen, so I can't list it or transfer it through OpenSea. Sometimes you just get... Back to Moonsama. There's a composable NFT standard that's being independently developed by Moonsama, and a metaverse, and with tokens, governance, games, and NFTs. This kind of seems to be leading to, yeah, its own blockchain, all with a multi-chain vision, as they already have representation on ETH, Polkadot, and Kusama now. 
What's interesting is that everything I've spoken about so far is built around composable NFTs. And this is something that the ETH world is entirely unfamiliar with. Munsama is one of the first to spot the potential in this and prove the potential of starting from the gaming and resource side. Play to craft, they call it. More on that in future episodes. As for now, there are only two resources that have not yet had any utility attached to them, Moonstones and Experience. I wonder what they might end up doing. Coming soon is the Exosama reveal. Battle for Nova after that, and could there be a Gromlin supercart? I hope this gets you up to speed. It's a lot to take in if you have no clue what all the words and names mean. With so many pieces, with such a grand vision, and so many moving parts, is it actually feasible? Is all this plausible? Is the hype worth it? We'll just have to find out. Let us know your thoughts. Have a great day, everyone.